Hey, what's up? Um, I wanted to chime in on the the subject of Uber and Lyft are are threatening to pull out of California market uh, because they're enforcing that law that passed saying that they have to treat the drivers as employees. So... Uber and Lyft, you wanna you you guys wanna pull out of the the market you started in that you're you're headquartered in, and you're gonna bail out of probably your most highest you know highest valued market because you forced this to happen. Slashing the pay, slashing the pay, just totally screwing the original agreement, eighty twenty agreement that I agreed to when I signed up in June of twenty fifteen. Since they passed the law, you haven't complied. You're just making all kinds of changes, kissing the driver's butts, allowing them to to, to set their own rates, and they, they've done all kinds of driver-friendly stuff since the since the law passed, except for actually, you know, considering them employees and paying them and or whatever. So I don't know what what it entails to have to switch over to that, but you're going to have to do it because. California doesn't screw around with that shit. They're not going to bow, bow down and just let you operate illegally. So when are you going to start doing all that driver-friendly stuff in the other states? So that doesn't happen. We're the neighboring state here in Arizona. Seven-hour drive to you know to California. Or six-hour drive to the border. So you really expect it to not spread around when the driver's get pissed and get tired of working for pennies and uber especially like you're treating us like employees penalizing us if we work in the in the suburbs if i work in the east valley if i do a ride in chandler gilbert or mesa i i have to to take a 10 percent penalty on the pay if i don't if i don't drive where you tell me to that's that's an employee so then you pull the select so I can't drive your luxury level anymore, so I have no no interest in driving Uber whatsoever right now. And the only reason I'm still a driver is because I'm on the the luxury levels on Lyft. So anyway, I don't believe they'll pull out because they can't. The the people are too dependent on this service. I, I've witnessed that driving throughout this whole virus pandemic thing because that we you know we had the huge driver shortage and people are desperate and will will pay you know 10 times their normal pay you know amount being charged for a ride because they, they've got to get where they're going this has been around too long to pull it you can't pull it there's no alternative now so let's watch and see how that plays out but they you know they got themselves into it so it's their fault and can't wait to see it to spread to the next state and see see what they you know they finally do if they finally I want them, I want my 80 20 back when I do a ride I want my 80 percent like I originally agreed to what do you guys think what's the what's your opinion on that L- leave a comment let me know all right talk next time later